Hello, my name is Lydia Chan and I'm a doctor at Waikato Hospital. I'd like to tell you about the investigations we use in patients with melanoma to see how far it is spread. These help us recommend treatments to reduce the risk of recurrence or alleviate symptoms. If your surgeon suspects your melanoma has spread beyond the skin into the local lymph nodes, they may arrange a lymph node biopsy. This may be done by sentinel node biopsy if no lymph nodes have been found on examination. Ultrasound guided fine needle aspirate may be used if the nodes are enlarged. Sentinel node biopsy is usually done at the same time as wide local excision, which is the operation to remove more skin around the melanoma. Local or general anaesthetic may be used depending on the extent of the operation. A dye and radioactive tracer are used to find the nearest lymph node. The surgeon removes the node and sends it to the laboratory for histopathology. The wound is stitched up again. Ultrasound guided biopsy or fine needle aspirate may be done by the pathology or radiology department as a quick day procedure. The lymph node is found with an ultrasound probe and the needle is passed into it several times to get a sampling of cells inside it. The sample is sent to the pathologist for cytology and there is no need for stitches. A local anaesthetic may or may not be used as the procedure is quick and involves a few passes with the needle. Ask the person who is performing the aspirate if you have any queries. The video shows a typical procedure where a needle is inserted into a lymph node and the cells are sampled. To see if the melanoma has spread beyond the regional lymph nodes into your organs, your doctor will ask you if you have any symptoms such as headaches, numbness, weakness, changes in your bowel habit, pain or new lumps developing in your skin or elsewhere. As melanoma can spread to a number of different places, a CT scan, a PET scan or a combined CT PET scan may be done of your chest, abdomen and pelvis. An MRI scan may be used to check your brain. These scans can pick up any growths that are difficult to find through regular physical examination. These growths may be secondary melanoma or due to some other condition. The PET scan can also give the doctors a clue as to how likely the growth is to be cancer. PET and CT scans involve some radiation and are done at a specialised imaging centre. Generally, the benefit of finding out how far the cancer may have spread outweighs the risk of the radiation. You will receive instructions about how to prepare for the scans. The scan may take up to three hours. The results will be sent to your doctors. Please let the imaging centre know if you'd like a copy of the results. Sometimes further biopsies may be needed if growths are found to see whether they're due to melanoma or not. The two scans are from the same patient and show abnormal increased uptake or a hot spot above the heart. It may indicate spread of cancer. At your oncology appointment, you'll see a cancer specialist. You can expect to discuss how your melanoma was diagnosed, what procedures and scans you have had done so far, and what symptoms you have at the moment. The doctors may ask about your past medical history, family history, medications, and social supports, as these may impact on further treatment. Depending on the results of your scans and biopsies, the doctor will discuss your treatment options, which may include further surgery, drugs, radiation, and or being part of a clinical trial. It is an emotional time and you might find it useful to have a support person come along. Do not feel pressured to make decisions on your treatment straight away. The doctor will let you know if there's any urgency for example, if you have worrying symptoms such as leg weakness or bowel or bladder continence problems. 
Understanding your tests and treatments can help reduce stress over an anxious time. Please ask the cancer team to explain the details.